For such it was done in the four hundred and fourscore year of the going out of the sons of Israel from the land of Egypt, in the fourth year of the realm of Solomon, in the month Ziph, that is, the second month of the fourth year of the realm of Solomon on Israel, he began to build an house to the Lord. For Suth, the house which King Solomon builded to the Lord, had sixty cubits in length, and twenty cubits in breadth, and thirty cubits in height. And a porch was before the temple of twenty cubits in length, by the measure of breadth, the breadth of the temple, and a porch had ten cubits of breadth before the face of the temple. Solomon made in the temple narrow windows without forth and large within, and he built it on the wall of the temple, buildings of boards by compass, in the walls of the house, by compass of the temple, and of God's answering place. And he made sides in the compass. The building of boards that was under had five cubits of breadth, and the middle building of boards was of six cubits of breadth. And a third building of boards was having seven cubits of breadth. And he put beams in the house by compass without forth, that those cleaved not to the walls of the temple. And when the house was builded, it was built, built of perfectly hewn stones, and hammer, and axe, and all thing made of iron, were not heard in the house while it was in the building. The door in the middle of the temple, the door in the middle side in the wall of the right half of the house, and by a vice men went up into the middle solar, and from the middle solar into the third solar, and Solomon builded the house and ended it. And Solomon covered with covered the house with couples of cedar, and he builded a building of boards over all the house by five cubits of height, and covered the house with cedar wood. And the word of the Lord was made to Solomon, and said, This is the house which thou buildest, if thou goest in my behest, and doest my dooms, and keepest all my commandments, and goest by those, I shall make steadfast my word to thee, which word I spake to David, thy father. And I shall dwell in the midst of the sons of Israel, and I shall not forsake my people Israel. Therefore Solomon builded the house, and ended it. And he builded the walls of the house within the boards of cedar from the pavement of the house under the highness of the wall and under the couples and he covered them with wood of cedar within and he covered the pavement of the house with boards of boxwood and he builded a wall of boards of cedar of 20 cubits at the hinder part of the temple from the pavement under the higher parts and he made the inner house house of god's answering place into the holy of holy things and that temple, before the doors of God's answering place, was of forty cubits, and all the house within was clothed with cedar, and had his smoothnesses, and his joinings made subtly, and engravings appearing above. All things were clothed with boards of cedar, and utterly a stone might not appear in the wall. And Solomon made God's answering place in the midst of the house, in the inner part, that he should set there the ark of bond of peace of the Lord. God's answering place had twenty cubits of length, and twenty cubits of breadth, and twenty cubits of height, and he covered it, and clothed it with purest gold, but also he clothed the altar with cedar. Also he covered with purest gold the, the house before God's answering place, or the oracle, and he fastened the plates with golden nails. Nothing was in the temple that was not covered with gold, but also he covered with gold all the altar of God's answering place. And he made in God's answering place two cherubims of the trees of olive, olives of ten cubits of height. Of One wing of cherub was of five cubits, and the t'other wing of cherub was of five cubits, that is, having ten cubits, from the highness of the one wing till to the highness of the, of the t'other wing. And the second cherub was of ten cubits in even measure. And, and one work was in the two cherubims, that is, one cherub had the height of ten cubits, and in like manner the t'other cherub. And he set the cherubims in the midst of the inner temple, and the cherubims held forth their wings, and one wing touched the wall, one wall, and the wing of the second cherub touched the temple, touched the t'other wall, and the other wings in the middle part of the temple touched themselves together. And he covered the cherubims with gold, and all the walls of the temple 
by compass, and he engraved them with diverse engravings and smoothness, and made in those walls cherubims and palms and diverse painters as standing forth and going out of the wall. But also he covered with gold the pavement of the house, within and without forth. And in the entering of God's answering place, he made two little doors of the trees of olives, and he made doorposts of five corners, and two doors of the trees of olives, and he engraved in those the painter of cherubims, and the likenesses of palms, and engravings above standing forth, covered as well the cherubims, as palms and other things with gold. And in the entering of the temple, he made doorposts, four-cornered of trees of olives, and he made two doors of the trees of box, each against other, and ever either door was double, and it was open, open, holding itself together, and he engraved cherubims and palms and engravings appearing greatly, and he covered all things with golden plates by square work at rule, and he built a large street or an alley within by three orders of stones made fair, and by one order of wood of cedar. The house of the Lord was founded in the fourth year of the realm of Solomon, in the month Ziph, and the house was made perfect, or ended, in all his work, and in all his vessels and appurtenances, in the eleventh year, in the month of Bull, that is the eighth month, and he builded that house in seven years.